Ladies and gentlemen, the Lonely Islander here. Please give some love. Akiva Schaefer, Yorma Ticconi, and Andy Sandberg. Yeah. Hey, guys. Gentlemen. Yes. How's it going? Wonderful. What's welcome. Up? Welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's good, great to be here. Good to have you guys here. How many years have you guys been working together? It's been... Working together working, or known each other? Working together. Which, you've known each other for decades. Years, right? Yeah, we, we uh, met in junior high, yeah. so twelve, uh, and then we've been working together for fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. Um, and your your comedy sensibilities were they always in line, or did did some was there a dominant was there an alpha male to your troika here? No, the, we were always basically the same brain, yeah, the same the same yeah. brain. Yeah, yeah we've we become more of the same brain over the years, maybe. Like, but, but like, like but anybody we, in high school with their group of friends, and they all kind of get the same sense of humor. Mm-hmm. You start. You start to develop and get in sync over over time. Yeah, not with any goal on career or anything, just with us being in high school, just goofing off, I would say. So the jokes work, but also the music works. And, and I've watched the trailer 50 <laughs> times, maybe, and, and I love it, but uh, I, it caught me because of the song in Popstar. And and I, I don't know what the song is, or if it's... It, it, does Adam Levine actually sing on it in, in yeah. the movie? All right, yeah. yeah. So what is the name of the song? The song's called I'm So Humble. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's really catchy, and it's Thanks. funny, too, of course, but it's never going to be good if it's not catchy music on top of it. We do our best. We use a lot of smoke and mirrors in the studio to try and sort of tweak it into sounding as close to real pop music as we can get. Who's producing that music? Uh, We get beats, quote unquote beats, sent to us by just a ton of different awesome music producers. When we signed a record deal, that was one of the best parts about signing a record deal was through the label. We had access all of a sudden to tons of Beats that we so could the, sort to of real through. producers who have yeah. created the beats for okay. real, you know, they, they created with you know whoever Wiz Khalifa or Drake in mind, yeah. and then we take it and just ruin it. That's, <laughs> a, that's a big thing. Yeah, the moment we're done with the song, we're like, oh man, I'm so, so bad for that guy. The same, the, the same stuff that gets sent to like Rihanna or something is you're on that list that gets shopped around. I don't know about Rihanna. I, yeah, she might, I mean, she, there might be another <laughs> list for her that we, we don't have. You got another to. list for her? Yeah. It, it has to fall pretty far down from Rihanna to get this. <laughs> no, but there, there have been a couple moments like the same producer who did uh, the Enrique Iglesias song, I'm Blanking You Tonight, also did our song, <laughs> right. I Just Had Sex. Yeah. So, oh, wow. wow. And those were on the charts at the same time, which was pretty hilarious. You you had a roommate, I guess, that had uh, who was a musician initially, and you guys would kind of screw around on his uh, equipment? On his digital 8-track. Yeah, exactly. Digital 8-track. Yeah. 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 Uh, did I understand you guys had some drops for us or something like that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We, yeah. we yeah. made some drops, drops last night for you guys. Yeah. Do you mind special. if we We just want to audition for them. Maybe these are ones that you could use anytime, I think. Well, yeah, on. and we again, have a plug that go right into yeah. Okay. yeah, and just before oh, that's better. Before okay, we play it. these, just know that we didn't know you guys and the vibe sort of thing. Right. It's right. our first time. Like, we're very excited. Okay. But so you know, so we, so we kind of did this. We didn't uh, know what would fit. Okay. Yeah, necessarily. So we so, just made a bunch of drops, and we wanted to do. So which one should he play first? I think uh, just the the first one. Okay, play number one. See if this would fit. See if this would be something you'd use. All right, it's right here, Preston. Okay, awesome, ready? Bro. Here we go. You're hanging with Preston and Steve, the two wildest DJs in Philadelphia. Okay, okay, so, so we uh, thought maybe yeah. you were wild. We wild. didn't know if you were wild. You guys, okay. you guys, yeah. I seem like you have a wild side, but I don't know that that's a perfect fit. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you seem like you're adults. We can yeah. work. We can work with it though. Certainly. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. So let's play the second one. All right, yeah. here we go. You're hanging with Preston and Steve, the two tallest DJs in Philadelphia. Yeah. Is that true? And I don't know how tall. We just, Again, we were kind of just guessing. Yeah. Just going off your name. All we knew was your names. Preston six <laughs> two. I'm yeah. six one. Andre Gardner's like six bad. Four, oh yeah, Andre's really yeah. tall. Right. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, we can't use that one. Okay, okay. so you that, can still use it. I mean, who's to say? No one can see you. That's, That's right. True. Point. All right, let's try the third one. Here we go. It's just been. You're hanging with Preston and Steve, the two tennis DJs in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're looking at you guys now. Yeah. So no. Now that we're in here, it's like maybe it's not right. Once again, we just heard the we thought, these guys probably tan. Uh, not <laughs> no. even close. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we'll, we'll just, uh, so let's just skip to the fifth one. All right, maybe. the fifth one. All right, let's, yeah, let's You want to do the fifth one? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's skip to the fifth one. All right, All right here we go. You're hanging with Preston, the coolest DJ in Philadelphia. And Steve. <laughs> we were just, is that one? Yes. That's, we didn't know. that's the one we're going for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one more time. Here. You're with Preston, the coolest DJ in Philadelphia. And Steve. Yeah. Once again, we were just a shot in the dark. Yeah, we, we didn't know, know what the dynamic was. No, that yeah. is you know what, what you call a home run. <laughs> okay, well, no, let's play the, the very last one, the, the, the number right. six. Here we go. You're hanging with Preston and Steve, the most charming and promiscuous man in Philadelphia. Guard your women. He's known to mix Viagra and cocaine. But don't 
worry, ladies. He's got a defibrillator in his backpack. <laughs> Yeah. That seems like, that, that seems like a good drop. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like well, you can use that anytime. <laughs> None of that is remotely true. We're going to act as if it is true. Okay. Oh, yes. Do you, we could make it longer if you need. Yeah. No. If you need it to be like another twenty seconds. <laughs> That's the problem with those things. They're not informative enough. Yeah. Fair. The only inaccurate thing is Steve actually uses meth, not cocaine. Yeah. Uh, so, gotcha, so gotcha. We might be able to get away We're with so it. close. But the tanning thing I laugh at because I often say I'm what powder would look like had he not turned into lightning at the end of the movie. <laughs> oh my God, hey, those are uh, We are big powder heads. So that, <laughs> that is that what you call them? Powder heads? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Trace powder heads right here. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Thank you, Andy, Akiva, Yorma. You guys rock. We appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Guys. Thanks. Awesome.